Mark Cooksey from ABX Group is back again with more information now on the rare earth side of the business. Now we've had the penultimate announcement from Ansto, who are working on your flow sheet to develop an EMREC from your Deep Leads project in Tasmania. Tell us about this latest announcement in this metallurgical test work. Yeah, thanks, Danielle. Yeah, so as we've been reporting over the last couple of months, we're getting Ansto to produce an MREC sample from our deep leads deposit in Tasmania. We have to do a, do a methodical series of tests to establish the right process conditions. And this is the the final step of that. So again, we did some larger, well, ANSO did some larger tests with 1.2 kilograms of material. And again, the impurity re removal tests were very positive. Virtually all of the major impurities removed and virtually all of the rare earths retained, um, in, which will go through to the product. So this is similar to your previous announcement regarding removing impurities. So can you tell us the significance and ultimately what the goal is? Yeah, so the, the last the last announcement was about sort of progressive tests at, at uh, different levels of pH to establish approximate impurity removal conditions. And this test was now with larger amounts of material to confirm that. That's worked really well. The key thing here is we're going to produce an MREC sample. And there's two things you need to do. One, it needs to be a good sample, which ours should be with high heavy rare earths, dysprosium and terbium and low impurities. But the second critical thing is it's got to be at low cost. It's, it's quite easy to do one or the other, but it's hard, much, much, much harder to do both. And that's where our ionic clay resource is really strong. Um, low cost process conditions and a high quality MREC. I understand that even once this final flow sheet has been published, you've produced the MREC sample, that side of the work is not yet done. Well, yeah, sort of, it's just the start in one way. So yeah, the MREC sample is being produced um, as we speak. Um, now that Ansto's got these conditions, there's a couple of days work to actually produce the sample. It'll take a couple of weeks to get the results before we can announce those. And then the next thing we've got coming up is uh, some of our engineering work has shown of the different project designs possible. And so we're gonna get Ansto to do some heat, uh, column leach testing, which is designed to simulate a heap leach. Uh, we've already engaged them. That work will start in a couple of weeks and we look forward to the results in the new year, which basically is intended to confirm that the really good results we've seen so far will be retained under those slightly different um, process design. And Mark, what is next on that side of things and also at the project itself? Yeah, so it is the MREC sample being produced, the column leach testing about to start, and then finally we've got our next exploration program starting next week again to... Uh, capitalize on some earlier great results we had earlier this year to see if we can grow our resource. It's, it's really exciting all around down in Tasmania. Mark, congratulations for another milestone reached. And we look forward to hearing about that next step when it's reached. Great. Thanks, Daniel.